Team coverage from Elizabeth City tonight. The town will soon memorialize the fight for justice in the case of Andrew Brown Jr. Alex Little Hale shows us how city leaders are moving forward with transforming a prominent city street into a work of art. Elizabeth City's Colonial Avenue will cement these cries for justice. Andrew Brown, say his name. But we wanted the message to radiate here. City Councilman Darius Horton called for change at Monday's City Council meeting and got it. I, I added it to the agenda as an uh, amendment and basically I just spoke from my heart. With us not having direct involvement with the incident of Mr. Brown, it is very important that we as a council assure uh, our constituents. A Black Lives Matter street mural on the same street that's seen weeks of press conferences and protests. After a five to one council vote, the city agreed to turn Colonial Avenue into a long lasting symbol. A streetscape memorializing Brown's death at the hands of Pasquotank County deputies and his family's ongoing fight for justice. There are members of our community that feel like they are not taking our best interests at heart. This street uh, has set a precedent. Councilman Horton called the initial vote and most of council followed suit, but it's unclear the cost this new mural would cost the city. Cost doesn't mean anything to me. He says he knows not everyone will support the mural, but argues the city has already spent money on policing efforts on the protests anyway. Protests in the city. So we're already spending money uh, and, and we're just a month into this thing and we've already spent $300,000. And Councilman Darius Horton says he hopes the mural will be completed by Juneteenth, the holiday that celebrates the emancipation of enslaved people in the United States. In Elizabeth City, I'm Alex Little Hales, 13 News Now. And we're told this mural will also focus on highlighting the work of artists with ties to the Elizabeth City area.